god. <gasps> Sean, you're awake. Where am I? W what am? Your surgery was a success. Your illness is completely gone now. Mom? I'm so proud of you, Sean. Dad? What's the matter? You look a little out of it. Are you all right? Oh. Uh, I think I must have had a really bad dream. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to eat when you get out? Yeah, we gotta start planning where you want to visit, too. Uh, okay. Congrats on getting released, son. <laughs> Thanks. Food's ready. Make sure to eat up. I made sure to make all of your favorites today. Wow, your meat pie. And mashed potatoes, peanut butter, and celery sticks. Yay! Hey now, don't think that's it. Oh my gosh! The game system I always wanted! And all the books I've ever wanted to read! You fought really hard against your illness. So you deserve a reward. Dad, Mom, thank you so much. I've overcome my illness, and I'm going to school now. I have a whole bunch of friends, and I can read all the books I want at the library. I need to study super hard to catch up on all the stuff I missed while I was in the hospital. Dad and Mom, they tell me they love me all the time. Every day is fun. I gotta be the world's happiest kid. Zero? Why is it that I'm still on this side? In that virtual space? I'm, well, an identical version of me is living out a great, happy life. Why, why am I here? I have an old story to tell you. A senior citizen and a boy with an incurable disease, met at a hospital. The child was always reading books significantly above his level. The majority of his young life was spent confined to a hospital bed, so books were his only friends. The boy had a special ability. He was extraordinarily gifted. His ability was highly regarded by his elder. So, in exchange for new books every day, the boy would share his academic knowledge. The boy was told that when his disease was cured, he was welcome to a job. However, life was unfair. The path to the child's future closed after a variety of coincidences piled up. The boy just laughed. He never laid blame. He simply, quietly, accepted his fate. He did not despair. Giving up on his life did not mean he gave up on his dreams. Before he died, he shared them with his old friend. And that dream is finally 
Whoa, what are you talking about? The universe. This quantum computer contains all of the infinite number of realities within space. Let's suppose there's someone, somewhere, who can fully operate that program. Perhaps he'll find that he can traverse the universe. But traverse the universe? 61404091. Oh, what are you saying? You sure you remember that number? A time will come when it will be handy. No way! Suspicious. No, it's because I'm not human that I can't be. What do you mean? the fact that you existing is suspicious. I mean, come on. Why is a robot here? Well... Because Zero brought me in. What the...? Zero created me so I could support him in this game. I knew it! 
Wait, Eric! Out of my way! I'm gonna kill him! Please, just calm down, Eric! Shut up! If what he said is true, then he would be able to tell us who Zero is. Do you... know? Fine. If you know, then tell me right now who the real Zero is! What's the name of the bastard who locked us up and forced us to take part in this messed up game? Zero... Zero's name is... Zero? The real Zero is? Delta! Delta? I've... heard that name before. Yeah. Me too. Oh, yeah. You guys wouldn't know. Because you transported into this history. Oh, would you stop yapping, Sean? This old man's name is Q! That's right! That's what he was called at DCOM. Yeah, I called him that. And Mira... She always called this man Q, too. Then... He stood! This guy totally stood! Hmm. You're completely correct, Sean. My real name is Delta. He spoke! I thought you were supposed to be deaf. Okay, and here we are. All of you will be living together here in the decom facility. Um, the, the old man in the wheelchair, too? Uh-huh. His name is Q. It should be obvious, but he can't walk. What's more, he can't see or hear, either. He can't hear? Nope. But then why? Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time? What kind of problems would that bring? How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Like the chair-bound old man. He put us in a difficult position on purpose to observe how we'd get out. So, you're saying it... It's all a lie. Your eyes. There are a large variety of security cameras in place throughout the shelter. A feed of all the footage is fed in, and they all appear there. So, you used that to spy on us the whole time? Yes, I did. 
However, it is limited to those histories where I am alive. Alive? Histories? Hey, Sigma! Go take off his clothes! Huh? Just hurry and do it! There is no need. This is what you wanted to see, correct? You bastard! Hold on, don't do it, Eric! If you shoot, we won't be able to ask him anything. She was, in a sense, a collaborator. She was a necessary element of my plan. But it wasn't that I gave her a specific set of orders. I simply let her roam free and do as she pleased. Oh, I did exempt her from the drop injections. Then why? Why'd you kill Mira? Heart Ripper. Many innocent people lost their lives because of what she's done. I only gave her her due punishment. What? What are you talking about? Stop bullshitting me! It's the truth. In another history, you and Diana and Sigma were all murdered by her. Shut up! You're just making shit up! I will never believe you! There's no way my angelic Mira would ever... No, Eric! Don't shoot! We haven't asked him everything yet! Shut up! I don't care! The X door will never open again! It'll open. Of course it will. What? Uh, so, should we ask him how? Right. The old man, Delta. Get it now. We need this boy. I mean, Sean. He needs to get direct access to the central control computer. Is that right? Uh, but... What? To connect to it directly, I need to extend a cable from my neck and plug it into the console jack that's inside. But, well... It looks like the cover is shut. Yeah. We would need to open this first. What's the code? Code? Don't play dumb. The code to open the damn cover. It's 38080832. It opened. Now we just need to extend the cord and connect it. Okay, it's ready. Just wait a sec. I'll open the X. Huh? Why? No, no, I, I, my, my hand just. I have no more use for this history. There's only one thing left to do. No! Wait! Don't! 